I think the economy has affected people's mental health. I don't see personally an increase in mental illness. And the changes I see in people's mental health are not always a bad thing. I'm not advocating um, misery and poverty as a way of, uh, as a lifestyle. But to some extent, the changes in mental health for some people present challenges to people. And people then rise to those challenges. Now for others, those challenges can be too much. And, and then, then you may you maybe get to see mental illness. But yes, I do see change to people's mental health. I see people who are unhappy with their lot. I see people who are unhappy with the education their children are being provided. I see people unhappy with the fact that their children or their brothers and sisters or other members of their family have to emigrate again. So, and I see people who are happy with the general local infrastructural poverty that we're seeing in the country. And I see people who are unhappy for the future. And ha holding unhappiness for the future, I think is probably the scariest thing. Because unhappiness for the future can lead to despair and despair can then lead to mental illness changes as opposed to just mental health changes. A very common presentation of a mental health problem is tiredness, fatigue, and to some extent a lack of interest in previous activities. But let's focus on just on the tiredness aspect of things. Tiredness is a very, very common presentation in general practice. And it can be anything from somebody who has lost their job and some of their motivation to function in the world they're in, all up to really serious cancers. And they all present with that, just that simple tiredness. So the role of the GP would be to try and tease out in which realm the tiredness sits. Now let's assume that we've um, ruled out a physical underlying cause for the tiredness and we're in the area of mental health. So how do you improve somebody's tiredness when it's mental health related? There are always contributing factors to their mental health tiredness. And there is nobody in Ireland who couldn't benefit from perhaps reducing their caffeine intake, perhaps reducing their alcohol intake, perhaps looking at their dietary intake, their weight, and their cardiovascular fitness. Now I know people have that trotted out repeatedly by the GP, stop doing this, stop doing that, but the evidence is overwhelming that, and I would include smoking, the evidence is overwhelming that improvements in those areas can give the person, and we're not, we're not talking about giving them happiness um, or a miraculous change in the level of tiredness, but that level of tiredness that people are presenting with, is all you have to do is knock the edge off it with some of those interventions. And people, again, have the wherewithal, as they have throughout their whole lives, for solving the rest of the problem. Your family are also um, an agency that can help. Your family also have to be included in the notion of the time frame to recovery and the notion of recovery.